Hello friends and welcome to laundry day or laundry routine or whatever you want to call it. I haven't done a laundry routine video in a couple years actually. And it's cause, mainly because I stopped doing like cleaning videos, but I have a lot of new subscribers here and laundry is kind of my thing. And this kind of mess right here is actually like the bane of my existence. If laundry isn't like on top of it, I'm not on top of it. I don't have my A game on. I'm gonna go through my little laundry routine with you guys and I hope you enjoy it and let me know in the comments below any tips you guys might have with your laundry ha like with your laundry routine maybe it'll help me with mine I always want to encourage people to be organized and to have a better structure to their day because when you have that sorry the washing machine's going when you have a better structure to your day your day goes better so that's what I'm gonna show you here in my laundry routine. So first things first, I'm gonna kinda show you, this is real life right now, and this is the kind of situation that causes me a lot of stress, and that's why I'm gonna kinda show you in reverse how I do my laundry so that you can see how the calmness of my actual routine helps me be able to do it better. So I've got all the laundry, like, this is how a lot of people do it. They just pile up the clean laundry, pile up the dirty laundry, and then it's just all chaos. And this is where you can kind of get stressed out with laundry because if this doesn't get done, then the next load coming out doesn't get done, and then it gets piled up on top of that pile, and then it just snowballs from there. Let's kind of backtrack through this whole mess. All right, first things first, laundry baskets. This is my daughter's basket. It goes upstairs in their bedroom. They are responsible to put their laundry in it and bring it down for me. Same with my older girls. It's just that their basket is upstairs already. I have one laundry basket in my bedroom for whites and one laundry basket for darks. I actually have two laundry baskets. Okay, so my laundry baskets. I have two laundry baskets in my closet. And the main reason is because one of them is falling apart. <laughs> <laughs> it has like a metal piece on it that kind of sticks out and it when I bring it down it catches on my pants or my shirt and actually can rip them and so I like to keep that basket up in my closet so I'll put the dirty clothes in there and then when I'm ready to bring them down I put them into this laundry basket because this one doesn't have wire sticking out of it I take that one back and forth up and down the stairs with clean and dirty laundry so that we don't have any clothes get snagged on the edge of it when my girls bring up their laundry, again, you're gonna have to ignore this mess. We're gonna kind of back through this because I don't want to do the laundry and then have to re-show you how to do it. But the next thing I have my kids do when they bring down their laundry is to bring me all of their hangers. Now hangers is kind of a big thing for me, so let me show you that next. Okay, hangers. Here's the deal. I color co coordinate hangers. This is my eight-year-old's hangers. She's about to graduate from the little baby hangers. A lot of her stuff is starting to not be able to stay on to the little ones. So when she goes up to the next size of clothing, probably this summer, she will graduate to the big size hangers. These are my other kids' hangers. They all have colors. This is the 11 year old, this is the 13 year old, and that's the 16 year old. Then I have white, and my husband has green, either dark green or light green. I just have a few of the light green ones and I didn't want to throw them away. I can usually tell when I have laundry coming up because either I don't have hangers or I have a ton of hangers. Right now I'm kind of scared because I don't have hangers and I know the laundry is coming because it's almost the end of the week. So eventually all this is gonna get filled up. That will be my sign that I have a lot of laundry coming. So I hang 90% of my kids' clothes and my own. So I always hang them and put them here on this little hook here in my laundry room. My husband gets worried when it gets kind of filled up too high because he's worried that this is gonna, you know, pull down on the shelf. So then what I do is I take all the laundry off of the hooks Ignore my kids. This is real life. I'm showing you a real routine right now because it's the perfect time to do this because they're all home. I take them off and I lay them here on my couch. Nothing fancy, folks. We're going to put them here. Actually, separate them out per person. So I do that. I separate it out per color and then I say, Children, come get your laundry. 
Why? Because it's time. See her right there? You see her? Come get your laundry, sweet pea. Whose laundry? Your laundry. Oh, thank you, sweetheart. And that is laundry in action. She was, that was good. I didn't think I'd get any children to come down and actually put their laundry, take their laundry with them. So kudos to the eight year old for actually coming down when I called for laundry. I do not let the laundry lay on that couch for very long. So either my kids will take it with them right away or what I do, I don't take it. Like I don't hide it and like not let them have their own laundry. But if I'm going up and I'm putting away my own laundry, I will grab theirs and I'll put it in my closet. And the second they are like, be like, check my room. You didn't put it away. So that's kind of my little tip if they don't put their laundry away. But moving on to the next thing. Okay, so 90% is hung and then about 10% is folded. So this is my pile from last night and I fold the laundry and I either put it into my laundry basket, this gray one here. I will just toss that empty one right back up to my girl's bedroom because next up in my routine is laundry baskets. So these buckets here are for each kid and you can see that some children don't like to bring me their bucket so I keep the lids here for that reason. Right here. Ashley always has the most. She just has the most clothes and she goes through the most during the day and she also likes to give me clean laundry on days that are dirty laundry day. Hers fills up pretty fast. So the things that I usually don't fold are underwear and shorts or pajamas and that just gets put into their bucket or lid if they don't bring me their bucket. They're still responsible for this bucket every single day. If they don't, this is a doll's dress, if you're wondering. So they are responsible for their buckets. I do not take them up for them. If they are in need of underwear, they can come down and get their bucket. If they're in need of shorts, they can come get their bucket. All right, next up is socks. Well, we can start with masks. That's a little bit different, thanks to 2020 masks all go into this little bag right here. I just wash everyone's masks whenever I have a load. So I, whenever I have a dirty mask, I just throw them here into the laundry room and whatever load gets washed next, washes whatever masks are dirty from the day. I have laundry going every single day, so we're always washing our masks. So we have clean ones every single day, so it's not that big a deal. All right, so the sock scenario. All of these socks, a lot of people will just like not fold their socks and just let them keep piling up. This is literally one load of socks. And I honestly can't imagine if I were to not fold the socks for more than two or three loads, I would go insane. So here's what I do instead. I had to turn the light on for this one. So I have sock buckets for each kid and they all stay here in the laundry room every single day. So here's the eight year old socks. She can reach up here, grab it, grab a pair of socks when she wants to go outside, and then they're done. So it makes it really easy when I'm folding laundry. I will just stand here at the washer and dryer. I will fold and put together all the socks, and then I will put them in their baskets, or I will put it into my laundry basket for me and my husband. All socks get matched up after every single load. Like I said, this is just one load, and I will fold and put away all of those socks right now. I won't do another load and add to it. It will get done now. That will include every load that comes out of the dryer. Load comes out, I hang it, fold it, put the socks away, done. I will not pull another load out of the dryer until the previous load is completely hung, folded, put away. Like I just don't pile laundry. It's a big tip. Like if you don't have it stack up, it doesn't stress you out. If you just hang it up, the second it comes out of the dryer, they're not gonna get wrinkled. They're gonna be easier to sort through if it's just one load. So that's my tip. So another tip with socks is that if you are working through loads one after another and you're putting them away after each load, there's a really good chance you're gonna have matches for every single pair of socks. Especially for me where it's all coming from two sets of kids and two sets of kids and I'm working through each of those sets of laundry individually, it's easier to match up all the socks. But if your kids are like mine and they leave socks all over the house, there's, it's inevitable, you're gonna have missing socks. I have the missing sock bucket. And if I don't have a match for it, 
at the end of that load, it goes straight into the missing sock bucket. And I just keep it here on the laundry room shelf. And every time I do laundry, if I have an extra sock, I will look for the match in the missing bucket. And if it doesn't have a match, I'll leave it there. Here's the key though. After six months, sometimes even three, because we go through cycles of weather, correct? Summertime, we're not wearing as many socks so we can kind of go for a longer period of time without having to match up socks. If I don't have a match to a sock in less than six months, bye-bye, it goes in the trash. I have a trash bag right here behind my laundry room door and it goes into the trash. Done. I don't need to hang on to missing socks for eternity. If they didn't bother to put that other pair of socks in a logistical place for me to wash it, then we don't need to keep it. Done, move on. All right, I'm gonna give you an example in action and action truly with the washer going. Here's all the socks that I folded. This is Jason and I's load of laundry. They're all folded and they'll get put in the basket. And these are all the unmatched. And I'm gonna, little behind the scenes. I cheated the other day and I took two pairs of unmatched socks and I wore them to go take a movie back. <laughs> so that's why these ones are here. But then I have all these unmatched socks that came out of my load. So then I go back to my unmatched sock bucket right here. These are little ankle socks or no-show socks and I bundle them all up into one sock so that they stay together. But then I look at all of my other socks and see if I have a match. So there's a match. Again, these are little feedy socks and actually I could probably match up some of those ones so we'll work through that one. But then I see if I have, there's another match. I know I don't have a match for those two but I might have one for this guy for the kids but I don't think so. Oh, but look, see, now two more matches came out of there, but I don't have matches for the rest of these. So I will do that. And I still have an unmatched pair from my husband. Don't know where that one went. And then I could probably look through those little no-show socks and one more unmatched from my husband. But we worked through three different pairs that matched up. All right, so this is what I was talking about reversing through my laundry routine. This is the way I like my laundry room counter to be when I come in to start laundry. That's why today was kind of stressful for me because I came in and there was like a ton of stuff on top. I can't really like start my routine until this is totally empty. So now I have two loads of whites that can go in. I have a rug that I need to wash, but so probably will find some more towels or something to wash with that. This load is in. This load is ready to come out. Notice I didn't take it out before. I wanted to have a fresh counter to put the clean laundry on. And actually I got lucky because that load just has a few masks and blankets that my daughter brought down to have washed. All right, so that load had a pair of fuzzy socks and one extra sock. Usually that's what ends up happening is that one extra sock gets picked up by me around the house, stick it in my pocket, and at the end of the day I put it in the laundry room and I will shove it into whatever load of laundry I'm doing. But guess what? I've got this little handy dandy extra missing sock bucket here. And lo and behold, I have a matching set. Okay, last thing is all of my fuzzy socks because everyone wears them. I have an actual bucket for the winter time with all fuzzy socks. They're too big. They will like fill up these sock buckets way too quickly. So if the kids want a fuzzy sock, they just come and get one from this bucket right here. All right, the thing that I will do very last is to open up this whole drawer. I will take out the liquid detergent dispenser and this little contraption right here because you need to let all of this dry out so it won't mold. And then I come down here to the dryer and I get the lint trap as well. I actually have a load going in here, but I would go ahead and clear out all the lint from the lint trap. So you guys, that is it. I hope you enjoyed this somewhat simple laundry routine. Hang on. Let's get through a spin cycle here. All right, that's a little bit better. <laughs> I, I try and keep things real. I could stage this and have all the laundry lined up, ready to do, and have it perfectly like, you know, whatever. I, I don't have time for that. I gotta get the laundry done. So I just realized this morning that I could actually show you my routine because I haven't shown you that in a long time and I hope you enjoyed it. But again, leave your tips down below because I'm always looking to improve my method. Also, no one else is technically 
allowed to do laundry. I'm teaching my older kids how to do it. I'm working them into it. I want them to learn how to do laundry as teenagers so that they know how to do it when they leave the house. But my husband, he's not really allowed to do the laundry. He can move the laundry, but it's my domain in here. And I do not get mad at him for not helping with laundry. Not at all. And he will 100% agree with me. I do not require him to help me in any way, shape, or form. And 100% of the reason is because I am OCD about my laundry routine. I like things done with the right hangers. I like socks to be in the right buckets. I like clothing to get folded if it needs to be folded or hung up if it needs to be hung up. I'm a little OCD about it and that's just fine with me. I love doing laundry. I'm very weird. So leave a comment below with your tips or your struggles with doing laundry and if you need help being encouraged to do it. So I hope you enjoy this little routine. Take care and happy folding. See what I did there? Happy folding.